The following animation demonstrates a method of containing new oil as it leaks from the gulf floor and rises to the surface. Some of the images in this animation are not to scale. By now we've all seen how quickly the oil on the surface of the Gulf of Mexico is spreading. The enormity is nearly overwhelming and it's becoming more difficult to manage by the hour. The slick on the surface is continually being fed new oil at an estimated rate of over 200,000 gallons per day. There is no certainty that the leak nearly a mile below the surface will be successfully stopped at its source in time to prevent certain catastrophe. It is impossible to stop the growth of the slick without first stopping or at least greatly reducing the new oil that continually adds to it. We cannot wait in hopes that the leak will be stopped. We must work to contain it at the surface. By wrapping the area where the oil is emerging on the surface with a ring of floating boom, we can expect to contain a portion of the new oil as it emerges. Using several of the largest skimmers, much of this oil can be collected at the site before it has a chance to escape the perimeter of floating boom. However, much of the oil will likely escape the first perimeter. A secondary ring will serve as backup to the innermost ring and capture another portion of the oil as it attempts to spread. Here, more skimmers will continuously circle between the rings of boom to collect what oil is trapped between them. Of course, oil can still be expected to make it past the secondary perimeter. At least one more ring of boom will be put in place as a third perimeter. Again, skimmers will circle between the rings to collect whatever oil is trapped. Even with three perimeters, some of the oil will inevitably find its way through and slowly spread with the current. Skimmers will patrol outside the third perimeter and down current of the spill in an attempt to collect oil that spills past the outer booms. It is likely that some of the oil will be missed by the patrol of skimmers outside the last perimeter. Oil that is missed by the skimmers will be closely monitored by surveillance aircraft and standby units of skimmers will be dispatched to collect what oil they can as it moves away from the source. As missed oil approaches the shorelines of the Gulf States, three lines of defense will be implemented near the coast. Boom placed near the shoreline will act to stop much of the thicker oil from making it to shore. This boom should be anchored and maintained at a distance from shore that is well past the breaking waves. Local volunteer vessels can be used to help maintain the integrity and positioning of the boom. Skimmers will routinely collect oil as it gathers along the booms to prevent it from building up. The less oil along the walls of the booms, the more effective they will be at protecting the shorelines. Finally, smaller, more nimble vessels inside the perimeter of the coastal booms will patrol the coastlines, attempting to catch the small amounts of oil that do manage to breach the perimeter. This aerial photo on the surface above the leak site will give a more accurate idea of the size that the perimeters of boom will need to be. The inner boom must be larger than the area where the oil breaks through the surface. Estimating based on this photo, the outer boom will likely not need to be more than about a mile in diameter. The skimmers will operate in constant rotations, 24 hours around the clock as long as the weather permits. A tanker vessel nearby can be used to empty the skimmers as they fill. If winds or currents present a problem with keeping the shape of the booms reasonably rounded, then a horseshoe configuration can be used with the ends of the booms either anchored or held in place by tow vessels. This configuration, of course, will need to be adjusted as winds and currents shift. Versions of this configuration might also prove useful if the oil slick makes it into the Gulf Stream. The cleanup and prevention of damage from this spill should be a well-organized and well-communicated effort. Volunteers should be utilized to consistently keep boom in place, especially along the coastlines, and any failures in the integrity of the boom should be dealt with immediately. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration.